Praise the Lord, precious saints. And welcome to another daily prophetic utterance to start your day. The Lord is saying today, my child, if you desire change within your life, then first start by aligning yourself with my will. Yes, seek first my kingdom and my righteousness and all shall be added unto you. For I have called you to submit to me so that then you can resist the devil that is binding, that is blocking your change. Learn to be flexible as a pawn in my game of chess. For when you submit to me, I will position you in the most strategic key positions that will always confuse the enemy. Remember, I am always many steps ahead of the enemy as I see the end from the beginning. So stop allowing the enemy's tactics and his schemes to weigh you down. For all he does is feed off your emotions. That's right, my child. Satan loves nothing more than to feed off your misery. So remove that excess load today that you are carrying as this is your season to cut off the enemy's food supply. Yes, the enemy only comes to kill, steal and to destroy. But I've called you to arise and shine. Yes, I can move you to places where you will be more effective for my kingdom if you will just but humble yourself today. For I desire to bring the best for you and even bring about the change that my people have prayed and waited for. Therefore, arise above the storms, arise above the enemy's tactics and schemes, and take every opportunity that I am giving you today, my child. Learn to say strong in me, for in me you can do all things. Yes, shake off the enemy's attacks today. So stay focused on me today, my child, for I will place you where I desire for you to be. For did I not say that I will guide you into all truth and into all things? Then listen to my still small voice daily, for I can even recalculate your position when you stumble and fall, my child. For when you even deviate, I can redirect your steps. So come back to me today and I will make all things new today. It is never too late, my child, for I am doing a new thing. Yes, I am doing a new thing today. So trust in me, for I am on your side. Be at peace this day, my child. Shalom. Praise the Lord, precious saints. And the Bible says, according to Romans 8 verse 2, For the law of the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made me free from the law of sin and death. Somebody say hallelujah. See, we can see that with the born again believer, there is a new power that is in operation. The spirit of life in Christ is like a strong wind that has magnificently cleared the air, freeing us from all the fated lifetime of brutal tyranny at the hands of sin and death. That's right. A life as a follower of Jesus, as the person in Christ, is enabled by the new power that is in operation within us. The power is the Holy Spirit, that strong wind of heaven that clears the air and frees us from bondage to sin and death. Romans 8 is the great proclamation for the children of God in every age, precious saints. It is a declaration that this new power is the Holy Spirit that's operating in us, who lives in us and is at work through us and shares his power with us. Somebody say hallelujah. See, some can even be filled with the Holy Spirit, but for us to walk in the power, it requires us to seek God more. God wants you to seek him more in prayer and fasting as we start to seek him more in prayer and fasting, we will start to manifest the power 
power of God in a greater way. Somebody say hallelujah. See, sin doesn't have to control us, precious saints. Death doesn't have to defeat us. Our weaknesses don't have to derail us because he even said that in your weakness, he is strong. That is when the spirit of the living God is operating within your life. Those feelings of being inadequate, they don't have to silence you anymore. The spirit is at work in us and everything is changed for the better and forever because he who started that good work in you, he will finish it today. Somebody needs to hear this today. No matter what the enemy has been lying to you and feeding off your negative emotions, God is saying today enough is enough and he is calling you to another level of faith in him so that he can bring you from glory to glory. That's right. That spirit is still working in us and everything is changed because of the Holy Spirit that was sent to help us for the better and forever. Yes, for God's glory. And God is giving us the grace to continue on no matter what you are passing through today. His grace is sufficient. He is calling you to submit to him. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Heavenly Father, I pray for each each person today we thank you for this indescribable gift for the gift of your son that was given to us on the cross and we thank you for the assurance of victory and for the gift of the Holy Spirit who brings us to life in Jesus whose name we cry out Holy Spirit come down today Holy Spirit empower your people Holy Spirit deliver your people Holy Spirit we pray today you have given us all things oh lord and we thank you for the gift of the holy spirit that has been given to each person oh lord i pray in the name of jesus come and touch each person from the top of their head to the soles of their feet no matter what they are passing through oh god you will make a way for them where there seems no way oh god i pray that you would arise within this hour in the name of jesus christ come and touch your people come and fill them from the top of their head to the soles of their feet bless them today touch them in jesus mighty name we pray and believe amen and amen this is pastor robert clancy from narrow path ministries in perth western australia it is time to catch the fire of repentance revival as we prepare for the coming of our lord jesus christ shalom 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 and if you've liked this utterance today you can subscribe to the youtube channel follow us on rumble facebook or instagram you can also join one of our whatsapp groups precious saints but you must select a whatsapp group and channel that is your nation's group because if you start joining all these other nations then it just becomes confusing we're trying to also remove all the spam now for instance, if you do not have a nation listed there, you can choose a neighboring nation so that we've just created the rules on the page. Or if you come from that nation at birth and that's your birth nation and you want to pray for that nation, you can also join that one. But don't just join all the nations because it just becomes too confusing and it's very hard to be able to sort of weed out all the spam, all the bots and and all the scammers. Unfortunately, we're living in that time. Doesn't matter whatever social media platform you can be on, there will be these things that happen. But we are going to overcome and we are going to see revival in Jesus' name. So that it may encourage you so we can send these audio files that they can reach even further to people that may not be able to have access to the YouTube. They may not have the data. They may not have the access to Wi-Fi. Whatever the circumstances is, we want to get these people on their, the, these audio files on their phones because there could be coming a time very soon where there may be a blackout with the internet and so forth so that you've got these on there to encourage you despite of anything. But let's continue to believe that God's going to bring revival to us. And don't forget, we've got the four-day fasting this weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. I'm going to the prayer mountain. I'll be going to seek 
God as we believe God is going to bring the breakthrough to every area of our life. I just encourage you to position yourself and pray with us as we join together. So from my family to yours, God bless you. We love you. We are praying for you, precious saints. Shalom, shalom, shalom.